Hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your local Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to take a drive through tour of the Summerlin 89138 zip code. And in that zip code, you have Vistas Village, Paseos Village, Stonebridge, and Reverence. So I'm going to tour it in order, as I just said. So Vistas, Paseos, Stonebridge, and Reverence. Sit back, enjoy it. Um, when I get to Stonebridge, I'm actually going to take a tour of all the new home developments as well. Just to forewarn you, maybe a little long video because the 89138 zip code has a lot of villages. That's four, four villages alone. And if you want to learn more about each of the villages, I've posted a link down in the description of each of the villages and also in the video when I tour each, we'll have a link to the video of that village. Anyways, so let's enjoy this. If you have any comments, questions about um, any of these villages, just leave them down below and I will get back to you on that. I hope you enjoy it. It'll be a fun ride. Uh, talk to you soon, bye. To reach the 89138 Summerlin Village, you need to head towards uh, Charleston on the 215 and head Charleston West. In the zip code, there are four villages. We have the Vistas Village, the Paseos Village, Stonebridge, and then also Reverence. So we're going to go in order as to how these villages are laid out and they're on the north side of Charleston. So the first village is the Vistas Village and we're going to take a drive through tour. As you can see the beautiful Red Rock Canyon is right there. And we're going to take a right here on Vista Center Drive. The Vistas Village was developed, um, I want to say in the early 2000s. I did a video on the Vistas Village, so if you're interested in learning more about this community, definitely click on the link that I'm going to provide up above, learn more about it. There are three parks in this village. There's a North Tower Park, South Tower Park, and then the Vistas Park and Community Center. So right now, this is the one of the tower parks, I'm not sure which one it is. But Summerlin is very known for its roundabouts. This is the South Tower Park. And we're just gonna do a roundabout and then take a left right now, just to see what this community is all about. It's very beautiful, very well established. There are walking trails throughout this village and each of the trails intertwine to all the villages, which is very cool about Summerlin. It's a beautiful Sunday out today. Everyone's enjoying the weather, walking. And of course, with the coronavirus going on, everyone's been enjoying the outside more so than normal. The one thing I like about this community, the Summerlin community in general, is how the streets are a lot wider and it's not as crowded as most of the other areas in the valley. We're going to be approaching the Vistas Park and Community Center. So first there's the South Tower Park, then in between the North and South Tower Parks are is the uh, Vistas Community Center and then there's also an elementary school right here where your children can walk. Very family oriented. We'll just take a left right here. On park side. And then to the right is the Vistas Park and Community Center with the pool. And then to the left is Linda Rankin Givens Elementary School. 
Again, if you want to see what these parks look like, just watch my video tour of the Vistas Village. One can get lost driving through all these different villages, but uh, luckily I've been driving through these villages, so I'm very familiar with them. <laughs> Now we're crossing Alta Drive. The 89138 zip code is actually quite large and they're gonna keep on building in this uh, village. There's gonna be several other new villages cropping up pretty soon. Uh, be on the lookout for other videos that I will be creating about all the new villages in Summerlin. Now we're approaching the North Tower Park. And we're just gonna go around this roundabout and continue driving. There's so many different ways to get around here, to get to different areas. But the thing I like about this village, like I said, is the three parks and then also the community center with pool is phenomenal. Tennis courts, basketball courts, you name it. This village has it all. Let's take a right here on Mountain Shadow, see what it's all about. I don't want to keep on going too far because then I'm going to run into the Paseos village. So I want to make sure I stay in the Vistas village. And I think once I hit right here, which is, I can't read, Desert Foothills. I think Desert Foothills is the um, difference or splitting between Paseos and the Vistas Village. So we'll just take a left on Desert Foothills and then go back to the Vistas Village. The nice thing about this community is that they have a biking path for you bikers or cyclists out there. Lots of cyclists out here in Vegas. Just crossed Vista Run and Alta. I don't know if you can see in the back drop, but you can see the Las Vegas Strip from here where I'm at. And the nice thing about this part of Summerlin is very hilly. It's on the upper elevation, so you get wonderful views of the city and also of the mountain. Here is that other roundabout. We're just gonna take it all the way around and get back on Charleston so we can tour the Paseos Village. South Tower Park. It took me a very, very long time to get used to these roundabouts. They can be a bit confusing, but once you get the hang of them, they're, they're, they're cool. <laughs> you don't have to stop really or no stop lights, no stop signs. It's pretty awesome. On the other side of Charleston is the 89135 zip code. 
And there are several different other villages over in that zip code, which I will definitely take a tour very shortly. Across the way is actually Summerlin Center Village. Now we're getting back on Charleston, heading west. To the right is still the Vistas Village. A little shopping center right here with Albertsons and all the good food stuff. And then Desert Foothills, which we were already on. Desert Foothills is the split between the Paseos Village and the Vistas Village. As we go further west, we get closer to the mountains. The homes will have more phenomenal views of all of the mountains. And if you're lucky enough to have a home, you may be able to see both the Las Vegas Strip and also of Red Rock Canyon. There are two parks in the Paseos Village. One is the Paseos Park and the other one is Fox Hills Park, which is one of my favorite parks in uh, the Paseos Village. And if we continue going straight, we would hit Red Rock Canyon. We're going to take a right right here on Sky Vista. Now, Sky Vista actually separates between Stonebridge Village and uh, Paseos. So the Paseos is in between Desert Foothills and then Sky Vista. And then we have Stonebridge, which is the newest Summerlin Village. A lot of new homes being built up there by the world famous builders, Lennar, Woodside Homes, Party, Toll Brothers, KB, you name it, they have it up in that village. And I've also done another video about Stonebridge and also, of course, about the Paseos. <laughs> so I kind of went a little too far, but I'm going to go in and take a right right here and go into the Paseos village before we head into Stonebridge. Paseos is a semi-newer community. Uh, there are only a couple new home builds left in the Paseos Village. I think Santa Rosa, which is by Lennar, is a townhome community. I don't think there's anything else left up here. They finished completing, I would say, maybe a couple years ago, 2016, 17 time frame. And we're doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, continuing on Desert Moon, and we're gonna um, hit the Paseos Park first right here and then we'll come back around and then take a tour of the Fox Hills Park but right now I just wanted to show you this village as well and there are from what I remember there's over 20 different subdiv subdivisions in this village some are gated some are not gated some are townhomes some are condos just a good mix of multifamily residential Alrighty, which way do I want to go? Um, shoot. It's so big. <laughs> Let's go this way, which the other way is Fox Hills Park. I'm doing this all wrong. There are over 150 miles of walking trails in Summerlin. 10 miles of that is along the 215 freeway. And then the other is going to be, they're going to um, design a trail that will lead to um, Red Rock Canyon, which is pretty cool. So now I'm back at the starting point, which I'm doing this all wrong. Let's just go down this way, see where it takes us.
I'll be taking a left here on Paseo Mist Drive, back into the Paseo Summerlin Village. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. I love it up here. It's very peaceful, very serene. I love the environment, the feel. The one nice thing about the Paseos Village is a lot of them have these grand entrances into the communities. And they also have a little community park within that subdivision, which is really nice. And I'm passing Alta again. See the grand entrance? Very beautiful. Delano, I have clients that bought a home over in Delano. It's by Lennar. They bought a new home built almost a couple years now. And then to the left is a Calalantic Homes with the rooftop deck, which is really nice. I think that's Capistrano. Homes here are pretty pricey. They're, I would say maybe 500 and up, if not more. When you pay to live in the Summerlin zip code, you pay to live in the Summerlin zip code. You pay for the name. It's like a name brand in Las Vegas. It's a very affluent community. Uh, to the left is Santa Rosa, which is by Lennar. It's a townhome community with rooftop decks. It used to be Cal Atlantic, but Lennar bought out uh, Cal Atlantic last year or so. And then to the right is Fox Hills Park. Beautiful park. Love it. Then elementary school right there and it's Billy and Rosemary Vasily that is sorry elementary school <laughs> Now we're approaching Far Hills and we're gonna take a left on Far Hills. Right across the way, they're actually building a new village right there. Obviously, um, it's not gonna be developed for a minute, but it's gonna be called, uh, let me see if I can read the sign, Acadia Ridge is the new village or is that a new home build? I don't know. I'll have to investigate further what this new village is going to be called. Now we're heading up west on Far Hills. We're gonna go take a tour of the famous new village called Stonebridge. I really love Stonebridge, it's beautiful. Hopefully they won't build any more home sites past Stonebridge because it has awesome views of the Las Vegas, um, sorry, awesome views of Red Rock Canyon. Oh, I reached the end. I should have taken the left somewhere. Whoops. <laughs> Let me flip a bit. Okay. I am at the very top of Far Hills. And as you can see, I can see the entire downtown and the Las Vegas Strip. At night, it's absolutely gorgeous. When there's fireworks, this is the place to be for now. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see it as I'm driving down, but it's very beautiful.
I'm going to take her right here on Alta and Fox Hill. We're going to head towards the new village, Stonebridge. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour. So what was your favorite village? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Share with a friend. All that jazz. I've been doing these videos for so long now. It gets old saying that saying. The most important thing is subscribe if you want to learn more about Las Vegas, Summerlin, all that. Okay? Talk to you later.